Hey, hi, hello, how are you? I'm Pia and welcome to the start of a new weekend reading vlog. It is much earlier than I usually start my um, weekend reading vlogs out because it is Friday and I'm not going to school. I'm going to Virginia for the long weekend. I want to show you what I am going into the weekend. I have pretty lofty goals. First up here I have CarMax. <laughs> First here I have my audiobook which is The Help by um, Catherine Stockett and I'm about 150 pages into this already. I just started it yesterday and this was my TBR jar pick for the month. It's really interesting. I really like it so far. <laughs> I have two books that I need to finish this weekend for school and those are The Catcher in the Rye and The Color Purple. I have tabbed these. I am for The Catcher in the Rye I am on page 92. For The Color Purple I am on page uh 118. These two both need to get done this weekend because really? And then I have two books I have not started and these are just kind of depending on my mood. Here, Shadow and Bone by Lee Bardugo. After I'm done sharing these books, I have a huge announcement and I'm so excited. Okay. I don't know if this was on my monthly TBR, but it's one that I've been thinking about and um yeah I'm really in a fantasy mood. So yeah. What I also might be in the mood for this is Alifair Burke's The Better Sister. This is a like thriller kind of. I'm really excited for this book in particular just because I have read a little bit of it and I really really enjoyed what was going on in that little like epilogue, not epilogue, <laughs> epilogue's at the end, in that little like prologue. I have no idea which one of these I'm going to pick up even if if I even have time for them. <laughs> but I'm anticipating doing a lot of reading and writing. I'm going to work on my revisions a lot, hopefully. Okay, my super fun, exciting announcement. I am so excited. I am going to BookCon on Saturday. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. My friend is going. I'm not sure if we're going together, but I already bought my ticket, so like, who knows? Why do I always do this? I apparently have to get my ticket there, but there will be a vlog for that, and I'm so excited. And it's the day after prom. <laughs> I'm gonna like go to bed late and then wake up really early to catch a train to New York. It's gonna be such a good time. I'm literally so excited, and yeah, I'm. Shout out to Kiara. I love you. You're the real one. Right now, I'm just gonna listen to my audiobook as I um, pack some last minute stuff, just like hairbrush and deodorant and shit. So I'm obviously in Virginia now. I'm in a different location. You guys have never seen this before. And I've been reading Catcher in the Rye. And I'm really, really loving it. That was boring. And I really, really like it. I love the main character. I think he's so complex. And just such an interesting perspective to read from. Because he's so unpredictable and he's kind of erratic. And I like so relate to that. Because like all the times I've cut my hair in the middle of the night. <laughs> I have a little bit. Um... And I'm going to try to finish this tonight. Um, as far as my audiobook goes for The Help, I'm about 70, maybe 80% through with that. And I'm also loving, loving that um, at the moment. That is going so well. And I can't wait to do my book before movie on it. Um, Octavia Spencer is one of the um, audiobook narrators. There's actually three uh, from three different perspectives. So I love that that has such a big or a bigger cast, which is really cool. I have this candle that I think I got at uh, Walmart like four years ago, at least, and it smells so flippin' good. I might even bring it home with me because I love it so much. My roots are so bad. Hey y'all, good morning. It is Saturday and I have finished a book. I finished The Catcher in the Rye and I loved it more than anything in the entire world. This is a new all-time favorite classic and I loved the teenage depiction here and it was literally a masterpiece and I loved it so much. Anyways, I'm going to um, continue on with my audiobook and I think I'm going to finish that probably next just as I'm getting ready for the day and my hair is doing things, I don't know. And then I'm going to have to finish The Color Purple because that's again a school book. And I want to get those done before I start reading for pleasure. I'm reading books for school that I like, but like, 
you know, just reading other books. I just can do a lot of reading and a lot of writing. I need to actually open up my work in progress and work on revisions. The little girl I babysat for last week, I read her some of my story and she loved it. And because it's the middle grade, so it's, um, I'm working on revisions for her. That's my motivation is that kids will hopefully like it. So I'm really, really excited. Hey guys, so it's a little bit later and I just finished my audiobook for The Help and I really, really liked it. I was not anticipating liking it as much as I actually did because I picked it out of my TBR jar this month and I just was not in the mood for historical fiction, I thought, and I just really didn't know the premise about it, but it's basically about the help black maids in the 60s and um, this woman who's trying to write a book about their perspective and finally let them showcase their own opinion. Really, really good, and I really, really liked it, and now I'm on the Renegades audiobook because it's available through my library and I didn't know what else to listen to because I have ample amount of time to listen to an audiobook. <laughs> I can't buy a book. I really want to get a hardback because obviously I want a hardback but they're so fucking expensive. I want red squirrels but it's $25. I just keep thinking about how Amazon prices are so much better. Yeah, it's nice to see ya. How are you doing? It's Sunday. I didn't vlog much yesterday because I was reading. I got to page 164 of the color purple and I'm going to focus on reading this today. I just got done some math homework and some revisions. I revised two chapters, I believe. My book only has like 13 chapters. The 13th chapter is like a mess. <laughs> I'm hoping to finish this today because I only have about 100 pages left. Not too bad, definitely achievable since this is really quick for me to read. Sorry, my hair is wet and I'm just kind of like a mess, but <laughs> there's nothing else going on. Oh, my audiobook for Renegades, I'm really, really liking it. Well, not really, really, I'm liking it. And I'm interested um, to see where the characters go and like what happens. I think the characters are really uh, done well. They're super morally gray and I love a morally gray character. <laughs> so I just finished The Color Purple and it was really good. And I don't want to give it a rating because it's a school book. Um, but it had a happy ending, which made me happy, and I almost cried, but it was a good time. And now I'm gonna read Shadow and Bone by Lee Bardugo, because I think I'm gonna see her at BookCon, and I wanna read her book, obviously. Good morning! <laughs> it's 8.30 p.m. I don't know what's wrong with me. Because I was feeling a little shit, I don't know, my anxiety was just really high, and I don't know why. Shadow and Bone, I started reading it, I'm not far at all. 18! In Shadow and Bone, I don't think I'm gonna finish it this week. Um, what was I gonna say? I wanted to tell you guys, if you are not familiar, there is going to be a Taylor Jenkins read-along, and that is hosted by some awesome people here on BookTube. And I'm really excited, I'm really proud of them. I'm just really happy for them, and that's really exciting that they are making their own read-along, and I'm obviously gonna participate. I was debating it, but this vlog is going to carry over until tomorrow, because tomorrow's Memorial Day. So I'm gonna hopefully do some more reading tomorrow. I actually have a giant to-do list to show you my pimple. It's ugly. <laughs> so I got back home about 15 minutes ago. I rushed to do my makeup, and now I'm gonna film hopefully three videos. I do not know, it's three o'clock. I don't know if I can get this all done, but I need to, so. I'm gonna film my TBR, my wrap up, and then a readathon TBR. Yes, and yes, I do put on makeup for videos. An hour later, I look tired. I really wanna get this makeup off my face, but I look so much better than when I'm not wearing it. I am going to listen to my audiobook, import some footage, and then I have to start doing some homework bits. Mm -hmm.